This is a problem with debating bad faith people. You are allowed to agree with them all day long. They will not agree with you on anything. When I say the Nazis um, gassing Jews in the Holocaust was evil, do you honest, are you on, are you being serious right now in that you're, ex you want me to explain that as if it's not obvious? I, I want you to tell me what you mean when you say evil. So what's the debate on? I'm gonna be arguing that Jordan Peterson is a net positive to society. Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. the simplest thing, because he's going to say he's going to be it's arguing that Jordan Peterson is a Nazi and is turning young well, okay, boys so this into is Nazis. My point. This is my point. Like you say, OK, if he's if he uh, look, look, this is if he, if he makes we're going to have stupid, the debate. We'll find out if I'm right. I know. <laughs> so this is the problem with Jordan Peterson. It's one of the reasons why talking about his ideology is frustrating. He terminologically. Sure. He distinguishes himself not only from fascism, but conservatism. And then you take a look at his videos in the Daily Wire, and he's screeching about how the West is going to fall because of degeneracy of sexuality and gender inflicted by liberals. And it's like, oh, this isn't at all distinct from actual neo-Nazi propaganda. Okay, so Jordan Peterson's uh, interpersonal advice is massively outweighed by the harm of his political positions. And if he's spreading essentially Nazi doctrine when it comes to uh, transgender people and their medical care, uh, and that people are believing that doctrine because they, they trust him on the 12 rules of life or whatever, you know, I think that's a pretty strong case for overall harm. I don't think Vosh is going to start the conversation by saying Jordan Peterson is a Nazi or fascist. Well, yeah, he's, I don't no, think he that's literally gonna... is going to say he's a fascist because, and he's going to bring up the trans stuff and he's going to say, listen, his opinion on trans people makes him a fascist. I don't that think is going to happen. I believe you have said that Jordan Peterson is a Nazi, literally. Is that correct? Um, I think that he enables Nazi ideology. I don't think he's interpersonally a Nazi. I think he's a fascist for sure, though. So Jordan Peterson will call gender ideology degenerate, talk about how it's irresponsible for trans people to exist in public because it's corrupting the youth, and mm -hmm. say that he sympathizes with Vladimir Putin for trying to keep Western degeneracy out, Mm -hmm. But Putin, of course, being the leader who presided over a number of anti-gay laws in um, in Russia. But yeah. and then he'll say, well, I don't think homosexuality is a sin. My answer to this is, of course, is I don't fucking buy it. Being a part of the Daily Wire, which is full of people who literally full, like all of them want to get rid of uh, gay mm -hmm. marriage and they're standing toe to toe with them, uh, mm -hmm. supporting conservative candidacies and uh, their general ideological bent. Whatever he says here doesn't matter to me. It's the effect of his actions. Yeah, you guys are really uh, convincing me that, you know, he may be bad faith. That's well, yeah, this is the problem with debating. Possibility a bad, I haven't necessarily considered. This is a problem with debating bad faith people is because you are allowed to agree with them all day long. Mm -hmm. They will not agree with you on anything. What do you mean when you say evil? I, I mean the same thing when I say someone abusing a child is evil. I don't feel like I need to explain myself in that regard. I, well, I'm asking you to explain yourself. What do you mean by evil? What but what does that term mean to you? Uh, yes, we can see that, Andrew. Um, I don't know. When I say the Nazis um, gassing Jews in the Holocaust was evil, do you honest? Are you on, are you being serious right now? In that you're ex, you want me to explain that as if it's not obvious? I, I want you to tell me what you mean when you say evil. What does the word evil mean? What system are you referring to when you? say something is evil what what's the it's very the, very the bad weight. it should be avoided at all costs okay that's what but i like, mean by evil right but why like what so you say something is evil so it's bad okay right. but like, like why by what system by what system like how do you know if something is evil how do i know that when hitler rounded up the jews and put them in gas chambers that that was evil i, I don't know there's a there's a i get a funny feeling i guess when I uh, hear that and I think this sounds pretty evil to me. D do, you, do you understand this is kind of a weird question? No, it's it's actually essential. Without grounding where your morality comes from, it's almost impossible to talk about it. Okay. I have a great divine burden before me, mm -hmm. which is you two play centrists, right? Oh. When I am oh, look truly, at this. <laughs> look at this. I'm I truly the centrist, the unifier, where I can reach out to someone who's Heart is as hard as Vosh's and bring him mm -hmm. back into the fold. Oh my right? God. I, listen, he's he's delusional. I would, listen, you, listen, you, if you can you, do that, I, I, will, I will hear ignorance if, only. The best way, can, as Abraham Lincoln once said, mm -hmm. to destroy your enemy is to make him your friend. We disagree on a lot, but you are a human being. 
a lot of these conversations I have, you know, I, I'm talking with these these giggling frenetic messes who know they're lying. They know they're lying when they talk to me. They don't care. Yeah, I've seen it. Yeah, you obviously care. You care enough to emote. You care enough to engage. I really appreciate that. Sincerely, I do. It, it means a lot. You know, I, 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 so much. I the harder and harder to find debates where it seems like both people actually give a shit about the positions they're coming to the table with. So yeah. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful Thank day. You. I hope both of you have a wonderful day, and I appreciate yeah, the time. Too, I don't consider Vosh a good faith actor in <laughs> any debate. So I just, I don't, he sees all Fair debate enough. as performative. How can this person increase my status? And it's, it's a very I, simple I, formulation for him. It's like, my status <laughs> will go up if I dunk and destroy on this person, or my status will go up if this person becomes an ally and goes out into the world and tells everybody how great I am. That's a simple calculation that he okay. makes. And then he goes from there. And he doesn't care what the facts are. He doesn't care what... Jo like, first of all, his entire audience. Like, he has an audience of a quarter of a million people that don't understand Jordan Peterson, don't care about Jordan Peterson. They hate Jordan Peterson's guts. The mm -hmm. idea that uh, Vosh can say anything nice about Jordan Peterson in a debate, it just, it seems ridiculous to me because his audience doesn't want him to do that. And he knows that. Hi, you just listened to a clip from the Sitch and Adams show. If you like what you heard, you can listen to our live show right here on this channel on Sunday, starting at 1 p.m. Pacific, 4 p.m. Eastern. And if you want, you can super chat us. We read $20 and up super chats on the show and then do a follow-up stream on the following Tuesday where we read the rest of the unread super chats and interact with fans of the show. Subscribe to this channel right here to listen to the live show or to listen to more of our awesome clips.